Hey, what's going on everybody and welcome back to another Fallout 4 mod bundle, the show where we take a bunch of mods surrounding one similar theme and compile them into a nice list for you guys. And it's been a while since we've done a faction mod bundle because we already covered all of the factions in Fallout 4, but maybe we should move on to some factions who aren't in Fallout 4. And today we're going to be talking about the Enclave. That's right, you already know it from the title and the thumbnail. We are going to be doing Enclave themed mods. We're going to get you a bunch of mods that will help support an Enclave themed character, including weapons, armors, locations, all kinds of fun stuff like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. One of the first things you're going to need as a new Enclave player is something to protect yourself, which is why our first mod is going to be a weapon mod, and that is the P94 Plasma Rifle by the Dawn of America Project team. Now, the Enclave can use just about any plasma or laser weapon, they are just fans of energy weapons in general, but this one in particular was made specifically for use of the Enclave as it is included, again, in the Dawn of America Project, an Enclave-themed quest mod. Now, the P94 Plasma Rifle is based on the Plasma Rifle from Fallout Tactics and has a very nice and unique look compared to the vanilla Fallout 4 Plasma Rifle and would give you a nice new energy weapon to stand out from the crowd and make you different from the Brotherhood of Steel or the Gunners. And of course, this thing even comes with some faction skins, including an Enclave skin, which is going to be very, very necessary to complete the look. This weapon does have its own custom animations. It does look a lot like the vanilla Fallout 4 plasma rifle animations, but it's been tweaked slightly to make it a little bit different. And there's also going to be levelless integration. So you will be able to find this thing out in the world on the Brotherhood of Steel or Gunners after level 21. Honestly, if you're going to be using a plasma rifle for your Enclave soldier, I highly recommend this one. I think it's really, really cool, really unique, and I just love the style for it altogether. Not to mention, again, it does have an Enclave skin that helps to make it really match with the rest of your getup. But you're going to need a whole lot more than just weapons. You're going to need some armor. And what do the Enclave love more than power armor? Which is why we're checking out the XO2 Black Devil Power Armor by Cypher. Now we checked out the XO2 Black Devil Power Armor before on the channel, and when it first came out, I was absolutely blown away by this mod. I'm not a huge power armor enthusiast, but this armor just looks absolutely incredible. I love it to death, and the glowing effects just look really, really cool, especially with plasma-based weapons. Now, if you want to get your hands on this power armor, it is a unique set and you're going to have to do some digging to get it. You're actually going to need to head over to the Glowing Sea into the Sentinel site, and once you travel around in there, you will find a door hidden behind a forklift that will take you to an underground cavern. In here, you will find a whole bunch of random stuff. It appears to just be a bit of an enclave outpost. But once you make your way to the end of the little mini dungeon, you will find the XO2 Black Devil Power Armor sitting complete, ready for you to pick up. Once you have this power armor, it is yours for the taking and it is all ready to go. It does have some customization over at the power armor workbench, including the ability to swap out helmets for a different style, and of course a couple of skins that you can throw on as well, though I like it just how it comes right out the box. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Quite frankly, if you're going to be running an Enclave character, you are not complete without a set of power armor like this. But let's say the XO2 Black Devil Power Armor just isn't your style. Well, I've got you covered as I do have another Power Armor recommendation known as the Hellfire XO3 Power Armor by Dogtooth CG and Anoctium. This is going to add the Power Armor added in Fallout 3's Broken Steel DLC, and this looks absolutely incredible. Very similar to the last mod, you are going to have to track it down as it is a unique set of Power Armor. This will not be added to the level list as the Enclave don't exactly have a strong presence in Fallout 4. If you want to get your hands on this one, it's going to be very similar to the last mod. You're going to have to head over again to the Glowing Sea where you can find a new hatch to the west of the Crashed Vertibird. Actually, just traveling to the Crashed Vertibird site will pop up a little quest marker that will take you straight over to the hatch. Once you head inside, you will again find a hidden Enclave bunker where, again, when you travel all the way to the end, you will find yourself a set of the XO3 Hellfire Power Armor. It's important to note though that the XO3 power armor is not the only thing to grab down here in the bunker. If you look around, you'll even find a little bust of Colonel Autumn that you can pick up and take with you. And you can plop this down at any of your settlements as a nice little decoration to show your support for the Enclave. And I think that's just a really cool, neat little touch. Like any other set of power armor, the XO3 Hellfire is highly customizable over at the Power Armor Workbench, and you can throw on a bunch of skins as well to make this thing look however you want. But again, I'm a fan of just classic old power armor. I don't like the fancy stuff, I just want it to be a big hunk of steel that I can use to mow down my enemies. 
Now, if you're going to be playing as an Enclave soldier in the Commonwealth where there is no Enclave presence, you're going to need to rebuild a little bit, which is why I wanted to throw on a Settlement Workshop mod that's going to add in some different Enclave items that you can place around your settlements. And that's why we're checking out the Enclave Settlement Kit and Colonel Autumn Duster mod by Cooler Than The Coolest Guy, Colonel Mustard, Noldell, and Fallout Miami. Now, apparently, a bunch of this stuff is going to be featured in the much larger Fallout Miami project, but we get to use some of it today thanks to this mod. Now, this is going to add, like the mod says, a handful of Enclave-themed settlement items, but also a brand new outfit, which is that Colonel Autumn Duster, or known in-game as just the Enclave Colonel Duster. Now, you're not going to be able to get all of these new items right off the bat. You're actually going to have to head over and grab them. Yet again, we're going over to the Glowing Sea, and just to the west of the Sentinel site, we will find a newly added cave known as the Desolate Cave. Now, when you head over there, depending on the mods you have installed, you may find a whole bunch of Enclave-themed items, but those actually aren't a part of this mod. That's from something we'll talk about a little bit later in the video. Ignore all of that for now and head over to the little cave entrance where you'll be able to head over to yet another enclave bunker that will have a really nice aesthetic. As soon as you walk in, you are surrounded by sandbags and as you make your way deeper, you will find a nice little enclave bunker and I really, really wish that this was a player home or had a workshop in it because honestly, this area is just really, really cool. As you make your way around the bunker, you will eventually find yourself in the command wing where you will find a bedroom with a dead enclave colonel in it. And that's where you're going to grab the newly added enclave colonel duster that you can now wear on your character or give to a potential settler at one of your settlements. But more importantly, keep your eye out as you're exploring for a shield wall that can be deactivated using a keypad next to it. When you do that, you will find inside that there is a lump of crates that will have the ability to activate them. If you do so, you'll be able to unpack the crates, find a bunch of supplies underneath, and also it will give you access to all of the new Enclave themed items that you can build at your workshops. Simply head over to any workshop after you've done this and open up the decorations tab and head over to miscellaneous and you will find all of your newly added Enclave items. And they're really, really cool. There's a lot of good stuff in here, including barricades, satellites, chairs, chests, tables, and even that really cool display map that has the Commonwealth laid out in front of you so you can plan out some tactical combat scenarios or whatever you want to do with your settlement. It's up to you what you do with this stuff, but I think it's really, really cool and helps to cement your foothold into the Commonwealth with all of your newly added Enclave items. Now, up next for our last mod, we have a mod that's just going to add a ton of Enclave-themed content. This is going to include a brand new, heavily scripted Enclave player home, a bunker, the ability to craft some new Enclave-themed settlement items, there's Enclave uniforms, and there's even a VR pod that will give you some different scenarios and challenges to complete, similar to that of Operation Anchorage. This mod is known as Atlas Summit, and if you haven't heard of this one, you are in for a treat. Yet again, this is going to take us over to the Glowing Sea, and it's actually going to put us right next to the cave from the last mod. This is what actually added all of that really cool Enclave-themed stuff around. You're going to head over first to the newly added Atlas Summit area, and you will find a little note next to a terminal. You cannot yet access the terminal, but if you pick up the note, it will activate a quest. This is going to take you over to the outpost next to the cave we were at before. Once you start looking around here, keep your eye out for a hatch, which will take you over to the next part of the quest. But also before you go in, check out some of the chests around as you may even find some hidden enclave uniforms that you can equip to your character and even a really cool enclave hat. Once you're done snooping around, head inside that hatch and you will find a tiny little bunker. And once you head in and head to the end of the little dungeon, you will find access to a newly added key card, as well as the code to the terminal outside of the bunker. Head back to the Atlas Summit bunker, open up the terminal and go ahead and head inside. Once inside, you'll have a pretty lengthy elevator ride that will take you all the way down to the bunker. And once there, you'll find a handful of synths that seem to have infiltrated this bunker. Clear out the synth threat and you'll find a dead body of an Enclave officer. And on him, you will find some key cards as well as instructions on how to turn on the power to this bunker. You'll be prompted with the option to bury him and then use the supplies to repair the bunker. This is going to teleport you outside while it makes the changes inside so that the next time you travel in, the bunker will be a little bit different. Simply head inside when you're ready and you will see that the area where you fought the synths is now cleaned up. There is a whole new area with tons of beds and storage 
and this is now a fully functioning player home. Sadly, it is not a settlement, so you can't actually build here, but it is still a really cool enclave themed player home. There's a ton of stuff here. It's super script heavy, according to the author, and that'll make sense in a little bit. There's also a ton of really cool storage supplies, like you can head over to the storage room where you can have separated weapon storage, armor storage, power armor storage, all kinds of cool stuff like that, as well as an area where you can store entire sets of power armor. Keep exploring the bunker and you'll find even more stuff like this, including the presidential wing, which is where your character is going to sleep. When you find the end of it, you'll even find a bed that is named after your character. For me, it is known as Dak's bed, since my character's name is Dak, which is pretty cool. And there's even more storage in here. This bunker is pretty expansive, and I'm not going to lie, I got lost in it a couple of times. But once you figure out where everything is, it's a really nice player home. And eventually, you'll even find an area that has that VR pod. Once you're here, you can throw on the VR suit and head over to the terminal where you can select one of four scenarios. Now, these scenarios are going to be very challenging. For me, it gave me a combat rifle with only three bullets and expected me to clear out a bunch of Chinese operatives. Once you clear these out, they will all give you access to new themed bunkers that you can explore after the fact. There's just so much content in this mod that I haven't even covered, including the fact that there's classic skill books, magazines. There's just so much stuff in here that I couldn't even fit it all into this one video. I highly recommend checking out Atlas Summit for yourself. There is a ton to explore here. It's not necessarily a marked quest. Just have fun, look around, and you'll find a lot of neat stuff here, including this really, really cool player home. Now, before we wrap this up, I'm sure a lot of people are screaming at their monitors already asking, where is America Rising? Now, if you're not aware, America Rising is an expansive quest mod that adds the Enclave into Fallout 4, and it's much bigger than the mod I just covered. It's a huge, huge mod, and there's no way I could condense it into just two minutes. So I just wanted to give it an honorable mention. If you're looking for some real content for an Enclave-themed playthrough, go pick up America Rising for a brand new quest expansion that's going to be really, really cool. But again, not going to cover the whole thing here because there's just no way I could possibly do so. But pick it up for yourself. It'll be linked down in the description below. With that, I hope you guys found at least one Enclave themed mod that you want to throw in for your character. Even if you're not an Enclave fanboy and you just want some cool new stuff, there's some really cool mods in here. So with that, every single mod will be linked down in the description below, along with Xbox links if there are any available. With that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to drop a rating. Consider subscribing if you haven't already for more videos just like this. We'll be doing more mod bundles very, very soon, including other factions not yet included in Fallout 4, like the NCR and the Legion. So stay tuned for those. And a big shout out, as always, to all of my patrons. You guys are awesome and so generous. A special thank you to YouthRC, Jackie, Noid, Helljumper2077, Indecisive Wolf, Feed, and Captain Chaos for signing up for that Tier 3 Patreon membership. If you want to check out the Patreon, it'll be linked in the description below as well, but it is all completely optional. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace!